New seasons bring new opportunities and bring new challenges. But with the challenges comes responsibility. The responsibility comes accountability. And with accountability, you have to have good leadership. Led by Marlon Sims, the Cambridge Ravens have continued to build a program to reach respectability and be a model of consistency. After falling short of winning the class AAA state championship, the Cambridge Ravens have the sights on getting back and completing the task. Losing three key contributors to last year's run, the years turned and the Ravens looked to reload and had their sights set on returning and completing the task and becoming state champions. The challenges of a new year brings back last year's wounds. The wounds allow for growth and makes room for improvement. Key pieces return, so the cupboard isn't bare. Ryan Oliver is part of the group that returns and has his eyes set on the prize. Jalen Lawrence, Junior Kelvin Lusk, and sophomores Mario Franklin, Bud and Star Deron Hall all returned from last year's team. Now you add in Josh McDaniel, the newest piece amongst others, slide in where the three seniors left off. As all the pieces have put in the time and anticipation of another successful season, it's right there on the horizon. Coming off an adventurous offseason, you got Brandon Miller. Regarded as one of the best players to ever come out of Middle Tennessee, the 6'9 blue chip wing is locked in, focused, and looking forward to tackling the task ahead of him. Now remember, along with high expectations, as a team, there are just as many expectations for Miller. Oh man, Marlon Sims, uh, head boys basketball coach, Cambridge High School. You texting me? A great day tomorrow. You ready, my boy? We're gonna have a great day tomorrow. I already know you ready. We're gonna tee up tomorrow. Have a great day. My young boy going crazy. Hmm? I don't think he was in. I don't, I don't think he was in that group chat. <laughs> Why you asking me? Y'all too quiet for me. I need some some energy. You ready for that, boy? Thanks, so. Yeah. Hey, still not it? Yeah, I feel you. Four years, he ain't changed a bit. Real intense, love to yell. Just got like to get the best out of his players. Yeah, so you said four years. Yep. Another that four, what state champ? How was uh, that run last year? Man, crazy. Just a great experience with my brothers. We was one game short. Right. Looking forward to doing it this year. Uh, Shoot, he is. You enjoy playing with Brandon, first off. Yeah, like playing with the best player in the nation. You feel me? Just watch him do his thing out there. Puts us in the best position to win every night. So, uh, I guess him in the city, like against East or I guess anybody in general, you said that's going to be. Hey, it's going to be a movie. I already know my boy going to go crazy. A lot of comparisons going on right now. You finna shut all that up. All of it. What's going on with you? Hey, I got a little ankle injury, but I'm going to shake back. I'm going to be back soon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any good things, or what are your expectations on the season? State champs, for sure. Try to hit 1K this year, for me personally. But right. Any other personal goals, or anything that? All state. I got all region, all district last year. I want all state this year, too. Yeah, that was tough. You should have had it in the state tournament the last year. Hey. You know how that go. <laughs> Man, like, if you do what he asks, he gonna give you a chance, for sure. Like, my freshman year, I had a couple seniors ahead of me, but just because I was a freshman, he didn't sit me down. Like, I played my freshman year. Oh, yeah, that's a legend right there. I saw him get a jersey retired. Yep. Coach Brown, him and Coach Kendra, they was teammates in college. They went to Tulane together. 
Four. Four to five, yeah, one of them. Probably five, to be honest. Well, we got five of them. Y'all can't use them, are you? All right, four. Yeah. Coach Sims? Yeah. Come on, bro. Best coach, best coach in Tennessee, man. <laughs> can't say nothing less. Best coach in Tennessee. One on one, who taking the bucket? Miss Anthony? Me, of course. Ten years ago, if he was a bitch. Me? <laughs> me versus now? Him versus me now? Look at that bucket. You think that 48 vertical gonna help? No. Dunking that shit. Mm -hmm. He had balance. Yeah, now he had balance for real. 48. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, when I first got to Cambridge High School, they had never had a winning season. I think they were 500 a year. Uh, that we came in um, and so at first it was just about you know giving kids the belief that they actually could win basketball games that they could be winners uh, that was what my first goal when I got here uh, was to get that and you know what we could become uh, I think you know the goal is always you know, if you talk about Middle Tennessee basketball uh, if you talk about the state of Tennessee basketball I wanted Kane Ridge to be mentioned I wanted you to think about us when you thought about the Blackmans of the world, the Memphis East of the world, you know, that you thought about us also, Cambridge High School Beard and whatever it might be, you thought about us while you, while you thought about those schools uh, at the 3A level. So, you know, just trying to work at that and getting some good basketball players in here. But also at the end of the day, just working hard. I think that, you know, we, we tried to really instill a, a, a culture of hard work, a culture of discipline, a culture of good, great kids wanting to be part of something special. Uh, that's always been our, our, our goal here from day one since I took the job over. And I think we, we were starting to get there. You know, now when you talk about us, talk about Cambridge High School now, it, it matters nationally, you know, because of because of Brandon. You know, it's, it, you get kids like that that want to come and be part of what you got going on. It's, it's always special. Brandon and Ryan and, you know, Jalen has grown. And, you know, those kids that have really grown. But, you know, it started off with, you know, Justin, Justin Campbell and then, you know, evolves into, you know, Kyrie and Monte and those guys and, and then Jimmy and, you know, and Brandon dance on. We just grow from there. And then Damien comes and he's our next level basketball player. And then, you know, we go from Damien, you know, and then we grow into Brandon Miller. And so uh, every time we look up, we do get some special coming here about four, every three, four, five years that to help us be special as a basketball program. And that's the part I really appreciate that um, families, parents, uh, and the kids want to be part of it. My bad, man. Take care of the basketball. They're gonna press you all night long. They're gonna run and jump you all night long. 
They long, they try to get deflections, try to get steals the other way. They feed off of that. We gotta get back on defense. Two people gotta get back every time. You gotta get back on defense, no run outs. Communicate on defense, gotta talk. I was talking about today about switching ball screens, being at the helpline, being active. When you be able to set your defense, you're pretty good against them. All right, but that's the thing, getting back to that, getting them out of transition. We gotta limit their transition. Then offensively, run your stuff when traps are coming. Make sure we pass the ball middle, come and meet the basketball at all time. Pass the ball middle, look up, be strong to basketball. All right? Older guys, make sure you start checking your school email. I sent some stuff to your school email today. Check your school email. Uh, we got to shoot around the morning. Go back. It ain't big fish like the Okay. Who's the less sick banner? Who we got? But talk about the uh, evolution of you as a basketball coach from McGavick into now into Cambridge. Well, I think the, the biggest part for me is uh, understanding, you know, all the you know, understanding, you know, what's important, what ain't important. You know, I think uh, when I first got into it, you know, you just assume that you're going to eventually get to the state tournament. Uh, you're going to win a state championship. That, that's part of it if you work hard or whatever. And you realize over time it's not really true um, that, you know, there's a lot of luck involved in the situation, uh, a lot, a lot of luck involved. And, 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 and the biggest part for me, I think, um, I've, started, I've tried to grow with the game of basketball. I've tried to understand that the game has grown from, you know, out, inside out to outside in. Um, you know, I, I try to watch a lot of college basketball and, and see what the people in front of us are doing. You know, Europe has changed uh, the game of basketball for all of us and so adapt some of those concepts and, the, and the what we do. Uh, but at the same time, you know, coach tough kids and, and kids who want to play hard and be part of something special. So. Hey, what's up, your main man, Coach Bands, man. I'm here live at the game, Cane Ridge East. You know, you know what it is, man. Big match. You got to see who the, who the battle is. Best of the South for the Beast of the East. You understand? Know Sir, how you feel? Uh, how does this game impact the city, man? How you feeling about this? I mean, it's good to see kids coming out, you know what I'm saying, for something positive, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of ignorance going on right now to see kids come together for an uh, ultimate purpose of, you know, basketball, sports like it used to be. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seen this since Marcus Kinsey and the Rabbit, man, and the Antioch Glenn clip day. It's been, it's been a minute we've seen this kind of class can sell out. This is what's needed, man, I'm telling you. Like, I ain't seen this in a minute. I'm talking about mid-90s, take it back to the 80s. Night in and night out, this is how it was, man. So it's good to see the city coming back out to support the guys here. And that things like this make guys not leave away. You don't see guys that have to go to prep schools. They stay right here in Metro if you come out and support them like this. So everybody in the city, come support your own, man, and stay locked in with it. Uh, Mingo Johnson. Okay, Mingo, how you feel about the game today, man? Uh, it's hype, it's good for the city. Two good hype, you know, individuals, both repping the city, happy for both of them, happy for the city. Anything you uh, anticipated to see? Any matchups or anything you looking for out of either player? Well, I actually, to be honest, I really come to see the little Jalen kid. He's exciting to, to watch, you know what I'm saying? But Brandon also, you know, he's a marquee player. Grabbing our city well, so this is going to be fun for the city as well. Oh, the, the biggest part is I think me and Coach Faye and then uh, and me and Avery tried to continue it. It's been a good big thing for kids over the last few years we try to play the Tuesday before Thanksgiving try to make it like a like a tradition of what we do the Tuesday before Thanksgiving uh, get kids coming home for from break and you know they, they enjoy coming to the game and for whatever reason you know it's pretty good for you know the southeastern part of Davidson County and the east side of Nashville that you know get to play against each other and compete and see uh, where our kids stand at so <laughs>